Hello, welcome to today's live, which is on the ins and outs of sun protection. It's gonna be really useful information talking about not only sunscreens for sun protection, but also other products that we can be using um, in addition to sunscreen that are protecting our skin from the sun. The sun is out, the weather is getting gorgeous, and you guys are gonna to wanna to know these tips. So I am inviting on special guest, Ashley Hall. And without further ado, I will invite her to the call. Let's see, it's been a while since I invited someone to a live. Okay, here we go. So just give me a moment. Ashley Hall is our ZEO representative here in British Columbia. Hi. Thank, thank you, you for joining me today. I know you're an incredibly busy woman. And so we really appreciate your time and my tours you too. I love doing these with you. Such a pleasure. So today our topic is the ins and outs of sun protection. There's a little bit of feedback. I don't know if that's yeah. or a little bit about it. Let's see. Is that a bit better? I think so. And Maybe that's better than I think it's better. So Ashley has been so generous as well and offered to give two giveaways, which will be given out at the end of this live. So if you are on the live, stick around to the end. You'll get lots of great information and you'll also have a chance to win um, two products that we're going to give away. So I'm going to leave those to be a surprise. What they will be products that we talk about in this session. So without further ado, let's kind of dive into we're talking about all steel products here today and ones that are specifically targeted at sun protection. So we'll get to sunscreen for the end of the live, but I want to start with some products as well that are also preventing pigmentation, that are keeping the skin nice and bright, um, preventing from free radical damage, which we get from the sun. And one of those products that is unique to Theo, that is such a beautiful product, is called Bright Alive. So that's what we're going to dive in with first. And I just wanted Ashley to give us a down with her beautiful encyclopedic brain. <laughs> we love Bright Alive. Ingredients that are in there that make it such a unique and powerful product. Um, and you guys, if you're not on Bright Alive, you're missing out. It's, it's the best, especially for this season. So yeah. but tell us a bit about Bright Alive. Yeah, for sure. So um, Bright Alive is a non-retinal skin brightener. It's uh, it's it's has amazing clinical studies on it. It's in the Journal of Drugs and Dermatology, but it's um, such a gentle product. It's probably my favorite smelling Zeo product, even though all the Zeo products smell beautiful. It has 14 skin brightening ingredients in it in a brightening complex that are really going to brighten the skin tone that you'll start to notice in about four to six weeks and then continue to do so. And we kind of call Bright Alive like an IPL in a bottle because you'll just be amazed how much it can brighten up sun damage, even out any discoloration. It has a bit of papain in it, which will help digest any pigmentation on the surface of the skin and also just give the skin this beautiful glow and radiance. Um, it has this amazing technology that actually took our chemist five years to do R&D on. It's called an intelligent peptide drone that goes right to the source of where we produce our pigmentation and actually dots itself like a little GPS on our tyrosine, tyrosinase and inhibits pigmentation. So what I hear about Bright Alive from clinics and patients is if you're going on that hot holiday during the summertime, it's not causing any photosensitivity and it just does this amazing job. It's also pregnancy safe breastfeeding phase to prevent any pigmentation from forming with those 14 brightening ingredients. And then it does an amazing job without causing any irritation of lightening up existing sun damage and pigmentation. And then you also have beautiful antioxidants in a 12 hour time release, antioxidants A, C, and E that are in this 12 hour time release to give your skin all day antioxidant protection. Um, and then it has beautiful ingredients to reduce redness, like niacinamide, licorice root extract, beta-glucan. So it really treats browns and reds, and then you get beautiful anti-aging benefits too. So that's why it's called an IPL in a bottle, because it's treating your browns and reds just with this very 
well tolerated cream like this is not like you said non-irritating this is not like a retinol skin brightener which retinols can brighten your skin but um this is going to cause no irritation it's pregnancy safe and i really do recommend because pregnant women are prone to pigmentation changes a lot of pregnant women may already have existing melasma which worsens during their pregnancy because of the hormonal changes or perhaps they haven't had melasma but during uh, pregnancy might be when um, when they are prone to developing that skin condition. And so this is inhibiting that like crazy release of pigment that we can see during pregnancy. And then it's hard to recover from that once it happens. So it is um, a wonderful product for everyone. And you said that it's your favorite smell of all the Zio products. It's mine yes. too. If you've smelled Bright Alive, you know. It's yes, it's so gorgeous. Nice. And you can even put it under the eyes to really brighten dark circles. We get a lot of feedback. Mm -hmm. And then it's great on the body. People put it on the décolleté to help correct sun damage on the décolleté. It'll help with the anti-aging uh, ingredients to get rid of a bit of crepiness there. Great on the back of the hands for lightening up any sun damage there. And then you can also use Bright Alive on the underarms to brighten them if they're a bit discolored and in intimate areas as well, non-irritating, and it'll brighten things up. Um, so this, think of it as a, the skin products that we're talking about that aren't sunscreens are like a second line of defense to your sunscreen. So yes, we drill it into you that you need to be wearing sunscreen every day, not just in your makeup or your moisturizer, but an actual separate sunscreen. Um, we'll talk about our choices for those. But in addition to your sunscreen, you can also be using a, a brightening agent as well as this is preventative. So those intelligent peptide drones it's like so cool to me that science and chemistry has this ability and of course it does like you know if we can have drones for war we can use them for a good reason as well <laughs> that's really cool how it docks on your tyrosinase inhibitors and it's yes. so smart it was exactly where it needs to go to in the skin and this is why it's such an effective product yeah so we love love Bright Alive and um, anybody wanting to brighten their skin or control pigment, um, you should be on that product. Now let's talk a bit about um, exfoliation accelerator. Yeah, so we are for sure. we're kind of going in the order that you would apply these products in your morning routine. So you would start with Bright Alive and then you could apply exfoliation accelerator, which Ashley, could you tell us a bit about the ingredients in that? Yeah. Why we love it. Yeah, for sure. So um, Exfoliation Accelerator is actually one of Dr. Obagi's favorite products. He has this in 90% of his patients' uh, protocols at his clinic in Beverly Hills. It's one that I think is a bit of a sleeper. Um, it doesn't get a ton of attention for the impact it has on our skin. It packs such a big punch. It makes such a difference. It's such an affordable product. It's a blend of 9% glycolic acid with 4% lactic acid. And then it has some really nice antioxidants, vitamin E and vitamin A, to give your skin some of that antioxidant protection. And it also has chamomile and aloe leaf extract to just reduce redness, calm and soothe the skin. So what we notice is it's in our protocols for acne because it's amazing at clearing acne. Um, it won't cause any air. It's also great at improving texture, reducing pore size. It's a game changer for helping to control sebum. If you hear Dr. Abaji talk and all the research, um, you know, he's done over these past 45 years, sebum is really damaging to the skin. It's really the root of a lot of our skin diseases like melasma. Um, acne, rosacea, it causes so much inflammation. So this is going to help to control that. And then it's in our pigmentation protocols and correcting sun damage because it's going to exfoliate off that superficial pigmentation off that top layer of the skin to really help create more rapid brightening and lifting that pigmentation. Mm -hmm. So long term, it won't be irritating, but when you're first getting on it, you can introduce it gradually into your regimen. You could do it three days a week to start, gradually increasing to daily use. There's a little bit of a sting to it at first as, you're, as your skin is adjusting. That um, little bit tingling, stinging sensation only lasts like maybe 30 seconds and then it, it goes. So it's not, a, but it also might make you like flush 
or be a little bit red temporarily. Those are like transient effects as you're getting on those, the glycolic acid. Um, but this is, like you said, a sleeper and why I wanted to add it to today's live. I didn't want to cover too, too many products and overwhelm everyone, but this is a very affordable product and something that really easily could be added to any regimen and you'll get benefit from it. So making your skin that chemical exfoliation of the dense skin cells on top are going to remove the dullness, brighten your skin. Um, if you're struggling with pigmentation or acne, then absolutely you can add exfoliation accelerator as a really powerful boost to your regimen, but it's also really well tolerated. Yeah. Um, and um, one more thing too is um, it, it really allows for deeper product penetration. So your, all your other products are going to actually get where they need to go into the skin to just again boost the results you're getting with everything else you're using. And a lot of feedback I get is it's a game changer for blackheads. Mm -hmm. It's like a little magic eraser product tool in your toolbox for clearing those blackheads, preventing them from coming. And then it's also great on the body, like keratosis polaris on the arms, just a couple times a week to really smooth and soften the back of the arms as well. I put a lot of patients on the Zeo Hydroquinone program and this product is included in that program. And the feedback that I get from clients they love the exfoliation accelerator. It's like once you start on this product, you see what it does for you and you're never going to want to go off of it. Yeah. Um, now, let's talk about the self-activating vitamin C. So we're told in skincare about the benefits of vitamin C and absolutely everybody should be on this antioxidant um, to help protect our skin from sun damage. It's an extra layer of defense. Um, in addition to your sunscreen, it's helping to repair um, DNA damage and um, the antioxidants in there are neutralizing free radicals. It's kind of the mechanism of how vitamin C works. But not all vitamin Cs are created equal, and this is a place where I like to educate that it's definitely worth it to put your money into a medical grade vitamin C versus an over-the-counter vitamin C. And the difference is the depth of penetration. You need this large molecule to end up deep in the dermis in order for it to fight free radicals or to emulate um, collagen synthesis. So it's not effective unless it is penetrating deep. And Dr. Obashi came up with a very unique formulation of his self-activating vitamin C um, where it also does not have the issue of oxidation. It doesn't oxidize. So if you are a vitamin C user, you know how your bottle can get discolored after several months, and this is due to contact with air. Um, and once it's like too dark of an orange color, it's lost some of its efficacy. But you don't run into that problem with the self-activating vitamin C from CO because it's in an airless pump. And um, Ashley, you could tell us a little bit about kind of that anhydrous formulation, like how that's even possible. And that makes this a really like shelf stable and effective vitamin C choice. Yeah, um, it's gonna be hard to add to that because you covered it, but um, I'll try. So it's just, this is a very unique vitamin C, like Emily said, it's water free, which is very revolutionary for vitamin C. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Um, so most vitamin C's, which you know are water-based, well, they're, they're very prone to oxidation once they're in a water base and very susceptible to um, uh, just being unstable. So this will never oxidize. It feels like silk when it goes on your skin. It almost has this beautiful primer quality and people love that it mattifies a little bit if you're a bit shiny. Your makeup goes on beautifully over top. Because it is water-free, it does have that large molecule that Emily said. So we're gonna put it on the skin last in your protocol before your sunscreen. I call it the tightening and brightening vitamin C because you have that 10% L-ascorbic acid, which is really gonna stimulate the collagen, uh, exfoliate pigmentation off the surface of the skin to brighten. But then you have this other very unique vitamin C. So you're getting two punches of vitamin C into your skin. And that other vitamin C has a very long name. It's called tetrahexadexal ascorbate. Try saying that five times. This is as fast as why I invite you on the lives, Ashley. Because it took me a while to nail that one. It took me a while to listen to it on repeat. So that vitamin, we'll call it a vitamin C ester because it is a vitamin C ester. So that one actually has this ability to inhibit pigment by 80%. So 
So think if you're going on that holiday, summertime, you're pregnant, you're preventing pigment by 80% with this vitamin C yeah. in your protocol. Just every day, guys, just every day, yeah. not just patients. This is an everyday product that you want in your regimen. Really important. And I wanted to include it in this slide too. And as if you'll notice, I said at the beginning of the live that we're listing things in the order of application in the morning. And people have um, probably been told in the past that your vitamin C serum would go on first before other products, but this one is not in a serum form because it's not water-based. So it's actually going to go on last before your sunscreen and your ZO protocol. So just important to get that order of application and that will really help the maximal um, product absorption. If you were to put the, the ZO vitamin C on first, then the products you're putting on after wouldn't be able to get past it just because of the formulation. Mm -hmm. Also great, it's a great price point. So as many of you probably know, like most vitamin C's are about $215. This is $126 for 50 ml. Um, you can actually work up to using this morning and night, but it is quite stimulating. So initially for at least the first skin cell cycle, six weeks, we just would want you to ease into it and use it once a day in the morning. If you are using a high potency retinol at night, anything 0.25 or stronger, vitamin C and retinol, they, they kind of compete in the skin, their pH is compete. So you just wanna use them away from each other. And this is also great on the decollete to brighten it up, reduce crepiness, the back of the hands, stimulate collagen production, thicken that skin on the hands as it thins with age. And then we also get some really good feedback on brightening up dark circles under the eyes, but it is stimulating, so just a very tiny amount. Yeah. Oh, we should mention that the Bright Alive and the Vitamin C are like a married couple. They go really beautifully together and uh, boost each other a little bit. Okay, so those are our three skin products in addition to sunscreens that are um, providing sun protection for you. And now we're gonna talk about sunscreen. So there are a lot of different sunscreens. We have chosen just four of them that we're gonna quickly go over. And this is to give you guys tips so that when you're kind of thinking about which one would be um, your favorite that you would wanna try, we'll just sort of tell you a little bit about like, they're all amazing at um, their sun protection and inside protection as well. We'll talk about that. But they each have a little bit of a different feel to them and so just, based on kind of if you like something that is a more matte or more coverage or you like something that is like uh, a more sheer finish then we can give you guys some tips on that so going into um zo sunscreens i am a huge believer in um zo sunscreens because they have such a broad spectrum protection so it's not just uva and uvb protection which is what you get with most sunscreens but there's some additional spectrum protection in there now which is um this is like science in 2024 we we used to only protect against uva uvb don't get stuck in the past we're all in front of screens now. I'm in front of a screen right now as I record this live. Um, we're in front of computers all day long, and so we want to be protecting against HEV uh, emissions as well, which are accelerating DNA damage in our skin, can cause um, pigmentation even from being in front of screens, as well as fluorescent overhead lights. If you have them in your place of work, if you work in a hospital, if you work in an office setting with fluorescent lights, all of these things are not good for our skin. Um, so we have those spectrums of protection in um, the ZL sunscreens as well, as well as antioxidant protection is an extra bonus. So there's antioxidant protection in pretty much every ZO product. Like they found a way to get antioxidant protection into so many things. But tell me a little bit, like, did I miss anything that makes the ZL sunscreens unique? I know there's also like anti-inflammatory too. Yes, you just nailed it. Um, everything. So, you know, I think there's only about four or five sunscreens on the market that have this additional protection as another shield of protection for your skin. So that HEV light that comes from any um, ultraviolet light, indoor um, uh, light above our heads, our screens, our devices, that people don't even realize that we're around that all the time, obviously, and it causes a lot of pigmentation. Uh, and also a lot of free radical damage. So what's really beautiful is in every ZO sunscreen with one application, you get 12 hour protection from that. 
So really preventing that pigmentation, preventing that additional free radical protection. What we use to protect you from HEV light is fractionated melanin, which is your thing to protect you from that high energy visible light. And then another thing which Emily mentioned that's in a lot of our Zeo products, it's also in the Bright Alive we talked about today, is our Zeox 12. So Zeox 12 is added to all of our sunscreens and that's a slow 12 hour time release of antioxidants A, C, and E. And that's gonna protect you from harmful infrared light that comes from the sun. And the sun actually emits 40% of harmful infrared light. That's very different than we're getting from like good infrared light. And that causes premature aging and a lot of inflammation in the skin. So really bad for flaring up that rosacea and redness. So that's gonna protect you from that with one application for 12 hours and also just give you a lot of additional protection throughout your day, um, you know, from any free radical damage. And then it all anti-inflammatories as well, like you mentioned, Emily. So that's all, all the Zeo sunscreens in a nutshell, they all contain those properties. And then the differences between them are going to be more in the feel or the consistency, um, the way that it's applied. So I have been using the sunscreen with primer religiously for years now this goes on my face every day i'm wearing it now i oftentimes won't wear any makeup at all i did put some makeup on my face for this live but usually in my day to day i just wear my sunscreen primer and it gives me just a slight coverage so it just neutralizes any reds in your face um, it also airbrushes your pores because of this like silky smooth primer quality just a very subtle matte coverage and if you are a makeup wearer, your makeup also sits very nicely on top because of the primer quality. So it'll make your makeup look better and last longer. So whether you wear makeup or not, it's a beautiful product. And I'll show you. Um, oh, don't tell me this is out. And then I've been like, packing it for my my large size. So I grabbed the other one. Okay, do you have, do you have Ashley? Well, okay, no, I, that. I actually have the sheer fluid on today. There you go. Okay. There we go. Oh. It's just a long time ago, I could like repost this too. A long time ago, I did like a uh, split face where I put this on half my face and then did an unfiltered photo. And you guys, the half with the sunscreen on looked so good. You couldn't see my pores or my wrinkles. It was insane. Um, so it's just a really silky finish and people absolutely love it. It has like not really just a very like a uh, mild tint. It, it'll it'll match any skin tone unless you are a darker skin tone um i've just tested it like many times on um different friends of mine with dark skin tones mm -hmm. and it's a little bit leaves a cast but not others mm -hmm. yeah and if you're looking for something without that cast the one i put on today is the sheer fluid 50. this is actually a 50 ml this is great for anyone that just wants something super weightless uh, that won't leave that white cast. It, go, it has this pigment technology and it blends to any skin tone, even black skin. Uh, this is beautiful if you have sensitive skin. Um, it has really nice anti-inflammatories and calming agents like Roman chamomile and beta-glucan. It's a 22% zinc oxide. You can also put this on kids six months old plus you just want to give this one a good shake before you apply it yeah and then i find this one has like this semi-matte finish to it and it just feels like velvet on your skin it's gorgeous it's um so light it yeah. just disappears it feels like silk that is i've you know loved the primer for years that one actually came out last year and I love them both equally in different ways. So um, yeah. if you, it's like a little bit moisturizing too, but not greasy at all. Right. Um, so if you're peely, if you're in kind of like a retinol peely phase, that would be a great choice because I find that the primer could draw attention to your like peely skin or flaky skin a little bit more than the sheer fluid which is what um, Ashley just showed us. Do give it a good shake and it's an SPF 50 and that is, um, those are both physical sunscreens. And then the last physical sunscreen I wanna talk about um, that's sink based is the powder. This is a shade medium. I'm a shade medium. The light is actually very light. I have just a couple clients who are a true shade light. So most of you will be a medium or a deep um, and it comes out like magic pixie dust. Like, and I can put it over my makeup which is great. So I use this for reapplication. 
You can reapply every two hours, reapply when you get in the car, um, reapply when you're on your lunch break because it's also giving you that. Yes, yes, put it on your hairline. You're not going to make it greasy. Um, and people always ask me, is it coming out? Because it's invisible. <laughs> I call it magic pixie dust. You can't, it's not tinted. It doesn't have like a heavy matte quality. It doesn't feel like you're adding makeup to your face. It really goes on so um, undetectably. But look, yeah. like it is coming out. Totally. Powder is coming out. So you couldn't see it going on, but it went on. Um, and I also put this on my kids, so six months plus. And they love it. So, um, and then... The last one is um, my favorite pick for a chemical sunscreen. This is going to be more water and sweat resistant. And this is the Daily Sheer SPF 50, which this is great for black and brown skin. No white cast. There isn't zinc in this. It's a chemical sunscreen. Um, and it also just a lot of my clients, this is their favorite for daily use because it feels so nice yeah i find men love that anyone with acne um it just goes on and just feels completely sheer mm -hmm. it's sweat proof water resistant for 80 minutes great if you're very outdoorsy and athletic and then one thing about the rea application you know this is just so nice over top of makeup men love it too it's so easy on the golf course um this is a magnet which is really lovely that you can actually wash your bristles and then this mm -hmm. will absorb oil from your skin but it won't dry your skin out and take out the water from your skin so people really love that most powders do tend to dry you out whether it's makeup or whatnot but this will not dry you out at all and it'll actually leave your skin looking really luminous from your morning routine but it'll get i've tried a lot of different powder sunscreens and i get asked you know why this one versus another one what do you think of the other ones I really love this one. It's my favorite because the brush is so soft. It's a, a really great quality brush and you can clean the brush because it's detachable. Um, and I just, I like the way that it goes on invisible. So I don't feel like I'm caking on something that has too much color or tint to it. Um, and then I can just reapply it as much as I want or, you know, put it on my kit. So I like how sheer it is as well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to wrap up with our giveaway as promised, and we left it a surprise what the products we're going to give away are. Um, I wonder if you guys could guess, but we are going to give away a bride alive and a vitamin C self-activating. I'm so excited. Yeah, so. so such great ones for this time of year. Okay, guys. Okay, Jen Borham, you win. And Ginny Passion House and nice. congratulations. You won. Thanks for being on this live, everyone. So Jen and Ginny, you can DM me and we will send you your products. Jen, you want a bright alive, Ginny, you won the vitamin C self-activating. Okay. Wow, yes. <laughs> so fun. Um, so thank you again, Ashley, and we will see you, you next so time. If anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments when I repost this. Yeah. And everybody get your sun protective products. Don't skip a day. Get your sun protection on. Now's the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye, Thanks, everyone. Family. Bye, everyone. Thank you.